Hey what is up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about a car that has been added into the game alongside the Arena DLC, the ZR380. And it's a car that everyone is happy with, but I've never seen so many comments on how Rockstar should improve a certain car in this game. Every single video I have made that has featured this car or has been in a car meet or something, there's always that same statement, Rockstar should have made this car without armour. And I don't blame everyone because as soon as you look at this car you can tell how good it will look without the armor plating now i'm going to show you guys the car with no armor and credit goes to those who made these cars i will put them in the description below it actually took the modders one or two days to actually get this model complete so that just shows how easy it is for rockstar to do this and you know for the amount of people that want this i think it's a no-brainer for rockstar to release it and you know it's another reason why Rockstar should actually work with modders to uh, create cars because it's modders and content creators like GTA Wise Guy that know what people want and they get it in their comment section same as the reason for this video I knew people wanted to see this car without armored plating yeah and this is the reason for this video really hopefully we get Rockstar's attention and they can release this car without armored plating so with each and everyone's help if you could like the video share it um, yeah, hopefully we get someone from Rockstar actually viewing the video. So I'm just going to leave it out here with a walk around of the ZR380 without armor and the ZR380 wide body without armor. And um, yeah, you guys can tell me which one you like better. If they only brought one into the game, which one would you rather prefer, the wide body or the non-wide body? And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.